we knew the first half of the cast. You know, I, I, I learned the second half of the cast, um, like, you know, the, uh, two days or the day, two days ago or something. But uh, yes, you know, you know, God bless YouTube. You know, you got YouTube, you can do your research and uh, check all the fights. So, you know, most of my research was just watching them fight, taking notes, watching certain matchups. Uh, some of these ladies have fought each other as well. Uh, and just, you know, making some educated guesses as well. And, um, and uh, yeah, and then of course there's the tryouts and you get a, get a little bit more hands-on right there. And um, so, you know, that's how I broke it down, mainly just by the eye and a little bit of feel. Um, I got uh, Johnson on, my stand-up coach, since uh, the first day I learned how to throw a punch. Um, Two-time Lumpini champion, five-time world champion, undefeated in the States for six years. And uh, um, I have my one of my training partners, Josh Berkovich. He's 4-0 as a pro. I think he's going to make some noise in the UFC one day. Um, but he brings fitness to the table, you know, keeping his girls sharp and in shape, which I think is important here. And, uh, of course, I got Jake Shields, you know, black belt Brazilian jiu-jitsu, my head coach, professional fighter. Um, Nate Diaz is here right now. Um, you know him. He brings a lot to the table. Um, you know, I appreciate him being out here, and, and, and Nick, hopefully we can get him here a couple times, and hopefully he'll bring some guests in as well. Oh, Nate, yeah, well, when Nate, I already talked to Nate a little bit uh, about that, and he's already kind of helped me a little bit and gave me some insight of, of uh, you know, how, what they, what the, what the competitors have to go through to stay prepared, and it helps me, you know, understand what my role is. You know, you want to be a coach. You want to train these girls twice a day hard. I want to have all these expectations, but after talking with him, you understand that they're they are ready and they know what they're doing and I just want to make sure they're as prepared as can be for, for their fight and, and help them without overtraining them or overstepping a boundary. The minute I signed on that dotted line of that contract, you know, my new contract, everything's been that forward progress, that role of going forward, forward and just kind of have my future set and, you know, for the, for the next, you know, few years and it's a, a load off my back, you know, which helps you perform all around, especially in the cage, you know, that freedom just to go for it, you know.